Hi, I'm Dr. Waffles Wu. I'm from Singapore. Hi, everybody. I'm Suzanne Seitz from Switzerland. I'm Viu Wahono, based in Jakarta, Indonesia. My name is Jim Amberson. I'm originally from the United States. My name is Aisha Desai, and I'm the editor of Art India magazine. Okay. I'm Hi, the... I'm... <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Kim Camacho, and this is my husband, Lito. We're uh, currently based uh, both in Singapore and Manila. I love private collection more than a museum collection because the museum collection, they have great artworks, of course, but no personality. It doesn't reflect who the collector is. And one other thing I, I always tell people, you know, you go to a pet shop, every puppy is cute. You go to an art fair, you know, there are hundreds of nice art, right? So you have to, you know, try to develop an eye to be able to distinguish what really appeals to you. And as I said, do a lot of study. You get a sense of what moves you, what drives you, what intrigues you. Not what you think is popular, not what you think you're going to make money on. Art does something to the human spirit. And maybe that's why I I'm so into art because life isn't just about nine to five, going to work and uh, then going home and seeing the family. There are other interesting things, stimulating things, intellectual things. The important thing about contemporary art is that it reflects the now. Art in more ways than one allows us to dream. And uh, even as we do that, you know, we realize the extent of our problems and the problems of other people. Around us. So, in, in more ways than one, art uh, humanizes us, sensitizes us, and trains us to ask critical questions. Uh, I think that's a very special quality.